So I finally got my order from Virgin Water Gardens. These are three lotuses that I ordered from them. I think back in winter, December probably. And they've only just now shipped. Uh, they got here faster actually than I was ready for. So I'm only going to unbox them. I'm probably not going to take them out of their packaging because i got to set up the pots outside and get the soil and stuff like that. Alright, let's open this up. So this is how it comes packaged. I think they always do a really good job with this packing. If I ever start selling extra tubers, I need to do packaging like this. Yeah, these guys came all the way from China. That's really cool. Okay, that's that's Golden Sunset. That's Chinese Red Beijing. Okay. And that's Big Versicolor. Big Versicolor and Chinese Red Beijing are ones that I've been wanting for over a year now. I wasn't able to get them last year. Finally got them. Oops. Don't want that to dry out. Can't let the growth tip dry out. get these guys potted up. So this is the one of the buckets that we're going to use and in this one we're going to plant the golden sunset. Now it's really cool that it looks like I got two tubers in this so I might put the extra one in a separate pot. The only thing that I noticed that's different this year from all these tubers I got last year is that the names are written on the bags instead of getting uh, a tag. So, I don't know, that got a little lazy, I guess, but I do have a tag, I guess, I can write. Okay, so we're going to put soil in here. And right up to that brown line from last year. Oops. to break it up a little bit. Yes. I'll get a tool. So yeah, we got two. Hey, look how cool that is! All those growth points, that's a new leaf. That could become a whole new tuber right there. So I'm just gonna lay this one down carefully and gently in there. And then this extra one... I'm uh, gonna put that up in a small pot. See what happens. Nice. All right. Uh, this one I'm gonna actually pot it up dry. I'm just gonna put a little bit in there, and then we, we can get the hose. Which one was this? A golden what? Golden Sunset. Yeah. This is the first orange lotus ever made. Wow. Now I love orange flowers. <laughs> okay, this is a bigger pot. So in this one we're going to be planting Chinese Red Beijing, which is a... Uh, a single red lotus. And they sent me a pretty big tuber. Alright, so same thing. We're going to fill this one. We're going to turn this one in the mud first and then put the lotus in. Alright. Alright, so that's going in. Plant it along the edge and it'll go around in a circle. So good at that. Yeah, thanks, baby. Alright, Chinese Red Beijing. Okay, there we 
there we go. Two of the three. We don't have a pot big enough that can hold water, so we'll figure something out soon, though, for the last one. Let me show the other ones over there. Alright, hopefully these guys will do well. I hope they'll do well this year. So these pots were never intended to hold water. And it has been quite the fiasco with me putting in, you can see the uh, clear plastic down there. That's silicon. It's a, a sealer for aquarium glass. And uh, the hardest thing has been figuring out where the weak points are. And I sealed it at the bottom here on its tray, where all the way around. And it seems all right now, so hopefully this will be okay. And this is going to be for the uh, big Versi color. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make a hole here. It's a little too soft, but it's not getting anywhere. All right, so here's the tuber of big versicolor. And we're gonna put it, I think I'm gonna put it this way. Kind of angled, I'm slightly burst. All right, that should be it. Now we're gonna fill it with water. Good morning! Today is the morning of April 9th and here is the uh, lotus all potted up, the uh, golden sunset. And the other lotuses are over here. The Chinese, Chinese red Beijing and uh, big versicolor. Unfortunately, as you can see on the ground, there is a leak on my bucket. I missed one tiny spot and I don't think I can seal it now because of all the water and the mud in there. It's not falling out too fast but I'll keep an eye on it. I am definitely gonna have to find a bucket that's nice and about this size and transfer it over. It's a shame because I love this is like a perfect size. It's plastic. It was cheap but it wasn't designed to hold water. It was meant to have the water drain out from regular plants. I'm a little disappointed by that, but we'll make it work. So the lotuses are doing good, and I think this update is gone long enough. So I hope you guys like that, and I'll definitely keep you guys posted on how the lotuses are doing. Des signing off.